Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa. So this is part two of my donut wrapping videos. Last week's video, I wrapped the first five of my donut shaped beads, focal beads here. That video got a little involved, so I decided to wrap it up at five. And this week I'm gonna do the next five. And these five, I'd like to do some more wire weaving and more swirls and adding beads to them and stuff. So just stick around and hopefully I can make something that interests you. So let's get started. Alright, so I've got some basic tools here that I'll think I'll need. Your flat nose, round nose, chain nose, flush cutters. Just need one bead for now. I have a pair of calipers here. These are just to measure what I'm doing. Use rulers or whatever you have. I've got my 20 gauge wire. I think that should be plenty big for my bead here. I don't know if I ever measure my beads. They are 35 millimeters by 24. All right, so I cut myself off about 12 inches of my 20 gauge wire. That should be plenty. I think I'm gonna bend it in half. And up here in the midway part, I'm gonna make a bale of some sort. I don't want it to look kinky, so I'm gonna kind of round it out with my bale making pliers. You can use a dowel or anything round that you have, a pen, anything like that. I want these wires to come through and I want to wrap a single wire down each side, but I have to figure out the bail first. I'm going to kind of squeeze these together. Let's kind of bend this over and make a decent sized bail. Okay, so this is gonna be my bail. Let me bend it down a little bit. These wires are gonna go through the hole and wrap around. But I'm just trying to decide whether I just leave the bail like as is or kind of attach it somehow. I guess I can figure that out later. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go with this. Bend this wire up this way. Keep them nice and snug. Now pull these wires through a few times to anchor it. I got that far and I think I'm just gonna start making some swirls down the side. Symmetrical. I'll go from one side to the next side and try to make them identical. So I'm gonna kind of pinch them in my fingers and make a swirl this way. And then same with the other side. gonna be hard because they're already not matching. I'm just kind of using my fingernails to shape it, make a smooth curve into the direction I want them to go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna bring them down here where there's more room. Now I'm gonna curve them the other direction. Let's try to make this row the same as that one. And then go around once again. 
I'm finding the, the wires getting a little harder, so I'm going to have to use some tools to help me along here. So we'll bring this guy down this way. Bring this guy up and over. A little help. Gently. Up and over. Down here I'm thinking of kind of the way to tie those together is to hold on to a little dangle. So I'm going to tighten up these swirls. At the same time trying to get everybody to match. Now I think this side is longer. For my dangly, I chose this little tiny tanzanite briolette. So I'm going to get this guy wrapped. I think I'm going to use 22 gauge so it's nice and sturdy. Cut off about 3-4 inches. Just going to feed my bead onto the 22 gauge. And as evenly as possible, I'm going to try to wrap these around both sides. Get a hold of my design here. So where I want it to be. So do I want that to dip down a little bit? Yeah, let me try to make a little V for my bead to dangle off of here. And then start wrapping it evenly on both sides. Obviously you don't need four inches of wire. Since I'm figuring out things as I go, I'm giving myself plenty of wire. Just tighten these wraps up. Start snipping these shorter so they're easier to work with. All right, so I just need to tighten up these wraps and straighten out my wire without messing up my design. So what do you guys think of this one? Yay or nay? It kind of slides around a little bit. Just wondering if I should tack it down, but I'm not sure if it needs it. So what I ended up doing is I did tie it down on the top here. I put some wraps on, on this loop and wrapped it around to the back and back to the other side to the other loop. And that does kind of stabilize it a little bit better. So I ended up putting another stitch on this one too on the bottom and it goes across the back. So I have a stitch up here and a stitch down here and it's nice and stable. So that's not too bad for this. Design's pretty cool. So this next one, I want to weave the bail and then bring the two, or I should say four wires around and weave them, kind of figure out something cool to do with them. So I think 10 to 12 inches of wire should be plenty. All right, so I cut two lengths of 20 gauge wire. I'm just going to straighten them out a little bit. And I'm going to go straight to the middle again and weave myself a bale. Bale shouldn't be too big, but first I want to get the wire going. I'm going to start weaving on one of the wires. I always leave a tail for an anchor. Smoosh those down tight. I'm going to incorporate my next wire. And I'm going to grab these with a clamp. I have these clamps. You can also use clamps from the hardware store. Separate my wires just a tiny bit just so I can get my wire around them. And then I'm going to start my bale. I'm just going to go two around this one and then two around the other one. So I'm going to start making the shape. 
I don't want it too big. I'm going to wrap about 10 millimeters up and then start my descend from there, I guess. And here I need to decide how many wraps I want. I like odd numbers, so I'm going to do three. Careful not to pull your wires out of shape. I'm always going back and adjusting. I still need to clean up my weaving a little bit. So I find this is good practice. So don't get discouraged because we all need practice. I figure we're all learning together. I'm also learning how to film at the same time without going off camera. I'm gonna move my clamp up a little bit to help stabilize my wires. Getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start descending or making my bale smaller, which I don't, I'm not sure if I've done before. So this should be interesting. All right, I'm at the point where I want to start reversing my weave here. So I just want to make sure it's equal. That well, looks pretty good, but I keep my wires a little separated so I can weave in between them. Now that I have my shape, I'm gonna put my clamp back on. Before that, I'm going to squeeze my weave down. One. Okay, this should be interesting. I'm going to keep my nail here so my weave doesn't slide down. Make that bend. Make the bend first. Two, three. 
use my fingernails for everything, so they are completely trashed. Bring that over. Two. Three. Two. Oops. Get over here. Three. One. Two. Three. Take my clamp off and see where we are. Parallel again. One, two, three. I'll do another set of three and then I'm going to go two and two because now they're back to being parallel. I definitely did better on that side than that side. Well, honestly, I think this was my first one I've done bringing the wires back together again. So now I know what to practice. I just keep doing it. Right now, I'll just do two and two. I'm gonna cut my original tail off here. Hopefully I didn't need that. I'm gonna go ahead and shape my bale. You don't need bail making pliers, you can just use a dowel or a pen or whatever. All right, so this is the front and the back. I want to feed through to the front. Try and get this nice and tight. Maybe I'll bring it through again. Pull it like straight. Okay, so I want to start weaving these wires together. If I gotta weave this side and then I go back and weave that side. I'll start with the top wire. Kind of hold on to the tail. And I want, since this one has more wraps on it, I want to make a bunch of wraps to equal that. So much easier to get started towards the end. And then push it down. So that looks pretty good. Next, I go around the two wires twice. And then the top wire five times. And then twice. Three, four, and twice. Careful of the kinks. Try to catch them before they get too tight. I'm going to keep weaving and I'll be back. Okay, I weaved about two and a quarter inches. I'm not quite sure if that's long enough. Take my chances and cut my wire. And I'm gonna see what I can do with this side and then I'll do the same with the other side. Turned out pretty cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave, do the same thing to this. I'm gonna weave two and a half inches. It all depends on what you're working with. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing on that side. So I'll be back. 
I weaved both sides and did the same design, symmetrical. I want to figure out how to do the bottom, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to decide what to do. A little figure eight weave would look cool, but I'm not quite sure how I would end the wires. But let me get that figure eight weave started. Start the weave on this inner wire. See, and this is pretty much how I design. It's like I can't sit down and draw something out. I mean, on some designs I can, I guess, but usually it just starts with a basic concept and it just goes from there. Ooh, these wires I'm going to have to turn up. Anyways, because usually if I draw something out, it doesn't turn out at all like I wanted it to. So I just, I usually just try to figure out things as I go. And that's what I'm doing with these videos. I'm pretty much figuring it out as I go. I don't know if most people like that approach or not. Hopefully you don't mind it. Even if I make a design and I do it step by step, it never comes out the same each time. I don't mind sharing my ideas with everybody because there's so many variations of the same idea that you eventually incorporate your own style and everything and make it your own. Everybody's work is unique in their own way. I just hope you guys find some value in these videos that I'm making. Not sure where to stop, so I'm gonna stop right there. Maybe cut off a long tail and then go to the other side. Let's get these wires out of the way. All right, so I got a figure eight weave going on both sides. Now what should I do? What should I do? Hopefully this is not where it all just goes to hell. <laughs> Hopefully not. I thought it was turning out pretty good. All right, here goes nothing. I think I'm gonna make a swirl. Need to trim just a tiny bit on this side because it's a little longer. Okay, so I thought about it. Good that I left myself some wire here. I'm gonna coil these wires and then weave them together and probably just make a swirl design or something. So let me wrap these and I'll be back. Okay, so now I came through to the back, coiled these two wires individually and then wove them together. And now I think I'm just gonna make some swirls and finish this puppy off. Still can't get these two matching. Just need to clean up some loose ends. Make sure there's nothing sharp poking out. Okay, I think that is it. That's number seven. Number two in this video, number seven overall. I kind of like this one, so if you want a full tutorial on this one, just let me know in the comments and I'll do that. Number seven. All right, guys, I have three left to go. I'm going to weave the next one. I've seen these weaves where there's like a little woven circle that surrounds the hole and then goes up into a bale. So I want to try that. I'm not sure how much I'll need. I'll cut off eight inches, eight inches of 20 gauge round. Two of them actually. Pull them out with my nylon jaw pliers just to straighten them out. I'm gonna need to wrap the middle again, or weave the middle, I should say. I'm trying to find a scrap piece of wire to measure this hole. Okay, so that hole measures about two inches, surprisingly. So I'm gonna start my weave about three inches in. 
And for the weave to go around, I'm just gonna do the five and two weave that I've been doing. Let's get my wire started. It's easier to start on the end. We'll start weaving three inches down the line. So I'm gonna wrap uh, around both of them twice, making sure not to cross. I clamp these. Give my thumb a break. Wrap five times around the top one. You guys got thumb issues? My thumbs are horrible. One, and then five times. Two, three, four, five. And around twice. One, two, three, four, five, and around twice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and weave two inches worth, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have two inches of weave done. So now I want to shape it around the hole. So do I want the solid coil facing outward? I left my weaving wire attached because I think I'm going to continue weaving still. So because when you bring it around, you're going to bring it up to four wires and then I'm going to weave a four wire pattern. Okay, let me shape it around a Sharpie. I want to keep it flat as well. And give it a nice curve at the same time. Around, around this a little bit more. It's too flat. So now I want to send these wires straight up so they're parallel to each other and start doing a four wire weave for the bale. And I think I'm going to do like a flame stitch, but only going up the upward pattern and then just repeat the upward pattern if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to go around these bottom wires twice. Then the middle wires twice, the middle two wires. So I'm only stitching two wires at a time. The middle two wires twice, and then the top two wires twice. And come straight down and just do that pattern again and keep going up. Bottom two wires, middle two wires, and then the top two wires. And then come all the way down again. Bottom two, middle two. This is twice around. Top two. And come all the way down. Bottom two, middle two, top two. I don't want the bail too big. About two centimeters. I'm going to keep weaving and I'll be right back. There's my weave so far. I think doing these videos is really helping me out a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I'm getting the hang of weaving better. And um, I'm just improving overall. Hope you guys are too. Now that I have it bent, I just want to bring the weave down, add a little bit more to the weave itself. Two. Okay, so I need a second to think about what I'm going to do here. Okay, I think I'm going to end my weaving and make this one simple. The next ones I'll do, I'll do more weaving, the extra wires, but this one I think I'm going to end the weaving. Carefully bring these uh, wires through. That bring them through the center as well, through the first weave. Keep everybody straight. Do I want to cross them? Probably not. Probably not. Bring these over here, bring those over here. And 
give the bail a little squeeze. I'm not tightening up too much. I don't want to lose my, my decoration here. I'm shaping that. These guys through. I'm giving it a nice tug with my nylon pliers to tighten them up. And that tightened up everything pretty good. So of course I'm gonna make some swirlies. What can we do here? those up there these down here okay there's my swirlies what wire i had left you can do anything with your swirlies you can make your wire longer and bring them down here i don't know tie them down somehow but that looks pretty cool almost done i'm gonna do basically the same thing i'm gonna give myself 10 inches of wire 10 inches just so i have extra what kind of weaving should i do the middle is two inches. I've got ten, four inches on either side. Four inches is right there. Oops, I'm just gonna make it up. Let's see how this works. Two, then one, and then two. How's that even look? That too busy? Hmm. I think one, one, and one makes more sense. One wrap around just the bottom, then one wrap around both of them, and then one wrap around just the top, and one wrap around both of them, and then one wrap around just the bottom, one wrap around both of them, one wrap around just the top, one wrap around both, one wrap around the bottom, one wrap around both, one wrap around the top. I like that much better. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this pattern until I get to two inches. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. So I've got about two inches woven. This weave was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I'm trying to keep these uh, base wires straight. They're all kinked up. So now I gotta shape it into the shape of the hole. Try to keep it flat at the same time. I'm enjoying this challenge because it's taken me out of my comfort zone. And I'm trying new things, which is always good. And I hope I encourage you guys to do the same. I probably come up with a few duds in the, in these two videos, but it gives me something to work on. Kind of gives me an idea of what works and what doesn't. I'm trying to make these curves more more fluent. This looks a little kinky. Did I say fluent? I meant fluid. As the same as the last one, I'm going to straighten these guys out, or bend them up, I should say. Bend them up so both pairs are parallel to each other. And I'm going to weave a four-wire pattern of some sort. I haven't decided yet. Okay, I decided what I wanted to do. Do a four-wire bale weave. I made a V-shape, two on one side, two on the other side. Okay, so I started it already. You're going down in between, up around one side, down between them, up around both of them, up between them, down through the middle and up the other side. Down in between these two, up around both of them, around the middle one. and across to the other side.
He's starting to look like a little corset. Down through the middle, across both of them, up through the middle, well, up between them, and across. Okay, I'll go a little bit farther. I think I'm going to start my descent, bend these wires towards each other now. My weave is going to get smaller. Let's keep weaving. sun's coming through. Hope you guys don't mind. It's been a long day of wire weaving. This side looks much better than that side. I gotta watch myself. Seems a little bunchy on this one side. Make sure my wires don't cross. My back, it feels like my wires are too loose. There's a loose one there, or it's crossed a little bit. I'm still learning. Let me start straightening these back out again. All right, I got the bale done. Now I'm gonna start separating these wires and doing another weave. I think I'm just gonna do the simple five and two weave. Yeah, I really like that simple weave. I think it's really cool looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave both these with this simple five and two weave and I'll be back. All right, just finished my individual weavings of the two wires on each side. Let me shape the bale real quick. I finally have the windows open. It's actually the first day of spring here, the day I'm recording this. So that's exciting. Let's get this guy up in there. I gotta get these through the center without making a gnarly mess. Let's pull that over. Up and over that way, this guy up and over. Pull the wire weave too loose though. We gotta go up and over again to lock it. It's still pretty loose. It 
It's looking pretty cool, am I right? I'm digging the wire weaving, guys. I'm really getting into it. Guess I'll just start making some swirls and see what we end up with. Hopefully the sun isn't too distracting. It's just nice to have some sunshine. It's been a long winter. Everything just going up. Uh, yeah. yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let me back up. This guy needs to be a little rounder. That angle's a little too sharp. Let's see if I can um, round it out here. Only one more to go, guys. It's been a long day, so I think I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. Just one more to go. All right, guys, so it's the next day and I only have one blade bead left. I'm almost done, but I really want to just keep going with the weaving style. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try a different weave. Once again, I'm going to have 20 gauge wire. I'm going to pull out about 10 inches, two lengths, and I'm going to use, I'm going to weave with 26 gauge this time. Let's see how that looks. Of course, I'm, I'm going to start in the middle and weave my two inches, so about four inches up. And I really like the look of um, the two, the five and two wrap that I've been doing, so I'm going to do that. But it'll look a little different because the wire's bigger. I've been using 28 gauge wire this whole time and I can already tell a difference with the 26 gauge. Hopefully it doesn't hurt my fingers too much. But I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Incorporate my second wire. Wow, this is so much harder. What a difference. And grab a clamp to help me out. The wire's already twisting my base wires out of shape. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish my two inches of weaving off camera. Hopefully it doesn't turn out too wonky from this larger gauge wire. But we'll see. I'll be back. All right, I have two inches of my 26 gauge wire wrapped. I'm going to start shaping it around my the hole now, just like the others. To grab my Sharpie again. Bend my wires up just like the others. I'm going to have a weave a four wire bale again. And I want to try something different. I'm not sure what it's called. But I'm going to loop around each wire one at a time. Then around everybody twice. everybody wants individually every so often I gotta straighten my wire out so it doesn't kink on me okay around everybody twice and then once around the lower first one I should say once around only the second one once around the third one Once around the fourth one. And around everybody twice. Okay, since I'm new at this and I'm using a larger gauge wire, I'm going to go off camera to finish this. All right, so I've woven about an inch and then I'll be my bale. And I think it turned out really cool. Really cool. I like that weave a lot. It's going to look nice if I um, go ahead and uh, oxidize these. So let me shape it. It's going to look cool. I'm excited. I can already tell what my, my favorite designs are for these pendants. I 
gonna go ahead and snip this because I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more weaving. Oh, that turned out a little large, but you know, who cares? I'm having fun. How would it look if I put a little hematite bead right there? Let's have a go at it. Grab a scrap piece of wire. I think it's 24 gauge, I'm not sure. Just scrap wire. I have this pile of scrap wire just hanging out behind me here. In case I need something. All the large pieces I just toss to the back. Snug that side down, snug the bead tight. That I probably won't save. <laughs> Give these a twist so it's nice and tight. My bead is nice and tight. Okay, good. So this bead covers up my weaving transitions. If it happens to look a little funky. Kind of looks like a spider now. Okay, I think it's swirl time. Now I'm just going through making sure everybody's even and everything looks almost equal. I think it's pretty good. Ta-da! So here we are. I'm all excited. Um, I'm all finished. I've got all 10 done. Move these down. These are the first video. I think that's the order they're in. So that's all 10. So I've definitely improved in my weaving, I think. I tried some new weaves this time new designs. It was a lot of fun. I sure hope you guys thought this video was fun as well. I had fun doing it. I learned a lot, got some pendants made. So if you enjoyed these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to be notified for future videos. I make a new video each week. You can also check me out on social media. The links are in the description. I just started a TikTok so you can find me there as well. That's pretty fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.